Yo, what is up guys? Del Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button, hit like, all of that good stuff. So, everybody's favourite snake oil salesman, David Hay, is saying that Alexander Yusek versus Derek Chisora is likely to be rescheduled for some point in October. Obviously, you've got to take David Hay's comments with a massive grain of salt. Like I said, this guy is the master salesman. Maybe he's just saying this to keep his client's name in the public eye. I mean, this is a guy who convinced me he was going to beat Tony Bellew twice, even after the first fight, when in reality, the man was being held together by bloody blue tack, and yet he still conned me over, and he convinced me he was going to win. So, maybe this is David Hay just blowing smoke and talking absolute shit, but... I hope he's telling the truth because this fight has obviously been pushed back so many times, obviously mainly due to the pandemic, but it is a fight I'm interested in. I think this fight is a very good gauge of where Alexander Yusek is at within the heavyweight division. Derek Chisora, he's a trial horse, he's a tough strong guy, very robust, experienced, he's got a bit of power, and right now he's almost going for a second lease of life in his career, so... I think Chisora would tell us a lot about Alexander Yusek in the heavyweight division. And yeah, all in all, I think it's a decent test for Yusek. Like I said, it's a fight in which should actually answer a lot of questions about Yusek standing in the heavyweight division. So David Hay is saying October. Obviously, in October, I believe the government have actually green-lighted people to actually view certain events like sporting events and things like that in the actual arena. I believe it's going to be a limited capacity. So maybe for this fight when it comes around, we will actually have some sort of crowd and an atmosphere. I think that'll be great for the fight itself, to be honest. Um, especially for Chizora, because in my opinion, he's a guy who thrives off crowd energy and the environment, you know? A lot of the time when you watch Derek Chizora in front of a half-empty arena, he's very workmanlike and pedestrian. It's almost like he's not up for the fight. Go back and watch that Ajit Kabayel fight. Really quiet setting, no buzz. And he looked terrible, he looked flat. I think Derek is a guy who thrives off crowd environment. And he thrives off that big fight atmosphere. So, if there is a crowd during this fight, or some type of crowd, I actually think that helps Derek Chisora a little bit. Obviously, if this fight were to get made, I would still side with Alexander Yusek and fairly confidently. But I don't think a crowd is a negative for Chisora. Actually, I think it's a good thing. Whereas Yusek, to me, is a lot more adaptable. He's far more professional. I mean, ultimately, the guy travelled all around the world in amateur tournaments, sometimes where he'd be fighting in front of a man and his dog, you know? I don't think that sort of thing phases Yusek, whether there's one person watching or 100,000 people watching, you know? The guy's there, and he's there for one reason only, to win the fight, you know? I don't think he needs anything else, to be honest with you. Alexander Yusek is the consummate professional, you know? He's like a machine. He's like a robot, so... I don't think this is even going to affect Yusek in the slightest, whether there's crowd or no crowd. But for Chizora, if there is a crowd, I think it would actually give him somewhat of a buzz, to be honest. So, yeah, there's that to consider. But this fight in general, I do hope it gets rescheduled, to be honest. Like I said, it's an interesting fight, in my opinion. Also, it's not only a test for Yusek. Stylistically, it's also quite an interesting fight. Yusek is a well-versed fighter. He's very versatile. But, you know... Chizora is a front-on-pressure fighter with decent power. It would be interesting to see what tactics Alexander Yusek adopts to fight someone like Chizora, you know? Will he fight purely off a back foot and play safety first? Or will he try and mix it up like he did at Cruiserweight? It would be very interesting to see how Yusek deals with the stronger, heavier man in this fight, you know? That's why I like the fight personally. More so the question marks over Yusek at heavyweight. But um, yeah, hopefully this fight happens sooner rather than later. As for it being pay-per-view, I've got to be honest, I do think this fight needs a rather strong pay-per-view undercard. Obviously, there's a section of casuals who would buy this fight regardless, but for me personally, it's not a bad fight, but I've got a pretty clear idea of who's going to win, so I would like a stacked undercard on this pay-per-view because this fight is obviously going on pay-per-view, so yeah, a stacked undercard for me. I mean, one thing you've got to consider, yeah, when you're talking about this fight if somebody told you a few years ago, let's say after Chizora lost to Ajit Kabayel, if you were to say Chizora would go on to headline not one but two pay-per-views, you would say they're crazy, right? But here we are, you know? 
He's headlined against Dillian White in the rematch on pay-per-view. And now he's headlining against Alexander Yusek on pay-per-view. You know, a guy with multiple losses and a guy who's never won a world title. There we go. So yeah, I do think this fight needs a uh, rather strong undercard, to be honest. But one thing I will say in regards to Chisora, the fact that he's on pay-per-view at this stage d does go to show that, you know, his perseverance has been rewarded. And it should be a lesson to a lot of fighters out there. Yeah, you can have a few defeats, but there's no reason to give it up or slip into journeyman mode, you know. You can still make a career of it and have some really good fights. So I guess you have to commend Chizora in that aspect, you know. The fact that he's always stuck with it and never gave up. But yeah, I do think this fight would need a relatively strong undercard, you know. Maybe a good world title fight on it, something like that. But um, yeah, share your thoughts below. Do you believe David Hay? in regards to his statements, or do you think he's purely lying and bullshitting us once again? Share your thoughts below. Peace.